Hey tech fans, Eric here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. Now you guys know that yesterday AMD had a giant launch over in Macau. And I wanna say a very special thanks to Roy Taylor from AMD for inviting me to that event. Unfortunately, we are just so busy with back-to-back -back launches and stuff and my move, because this is my last month here, that we weren't able to attend. Now, I guess though this launch happened and it wasn't exactly as zen as everybody thought it was going to be, but there were some new products that were launched. And the biggest one that's on the table is a $200 video card called the new RX 480. That's right. Now the RX 480 is going to be a very, very low price card. Obviously at $200 and for what they're saying, the performance levels, this is going to be a card that people who don't have a lot of money are definitely want to get their hands on. Now the facts about it though are a little bit kind of weird because like usual, AMD is bringing something new to the table and something old and going a little bit backwards with this launch because the 480 is kind of a mixture of new and old. Now the way everything's coming out, the way everything looks, it hasn't been totally official yet, but it's looking like the chip that's inside the RX 480 is definitely the Polaris 10 chip because the Polaris 11 chip is a much smaller chip and it's geared for laptops. So that's probably not it. Now inside this are gonna be 2,304 stream products processor so that's quite a powerful card for the price level that it's at it's also going to have eight gigabytes of gddr5 or four gigabytes of ddr5 depending on what model you're getting for the standard four gigabyte rx already it's going to have four gigabytes of gddr5 and only five teraflops of total power now a good thing is though is that this you know technology actually in a way is even farther than nvidia's because nvidia they brought their card down to the 16 nanometer finfet bleh, finfet process but now amd's taking it to the 14 nanometer finfet process so that's even smaller and so that right there gives amd a little bit of room to play around with for future stuff that's coming out now going back to gddr5 though it's kind of weird because i would have thought okay well they at least would have used gddr5 x memory to try to you know pick up the pace and make it as fast as possible but no they've taken kind of a step backwards but at least we're not seeing any rebranding whatsoever at least this time the Polaris 10 is a new chip, so we're not seeing a rebranded card over and over again out there. So I know people like to kick AMD and always say, oh, it's a rebrand, it's a rebrand. Well, this time it's definitely not a rebrand. Now, the card sits, though, in a kind of weird position in everything because the 480 isn't supposed to like blow away everything on the market. This is not Zen and this is not the biggest Polaris chipset or the you know, biggest card by these guys yet. This is kind of the very entry level card. On the AMD side of things, it's supposed to sit between a 390 and a 390X. And if we're talking about Nvidia side of things, between the uh, 970 and 980. So it's not anything to compete with the new 1080 from Nvidia. It's not meant to be. And obviously at a price tag of $200, well, you know, $200 being what it is, I don't think it's really meant to compete at anything that's gonna be costing, you know, a four or $500 car, not at all. And that's a very, very sweet spot for the people over at AMD. Now, I know a lot of people out there were like waiting for all these bigger cards and more CPUs. And there were a few things that were talked about at the event, but the really big news about everything was the RX 480. What more can I say? Now, great thing also about it is, is you guys just saw with the 1070 and the 1080 card that we saw from Nvidia, they had a single eight pin power connector and everybody said, hey, you know, you could have probably got away with using a six pin one and they could have done that. But for the overclocking purposes, they just went ahead and used an eight pin power connector. Now, the rumors are speculating that this new card from AMD is only going to have a single six pin power connector for its 150 watt you know, power consumption. Also, this is based off their latest GCN 4.0 technology. I believe some of their cards were like one, 1 1.2. Well, this has jumped up to four. So all in all, it's new technology for AMD across the board for this brand new GPU. So if you're out there and you're wondering, hey, what's going on and what's this about? Maybe somehow you missed the event. I know I didn't get to miss the event. I mean, I missed it. I didn't even get to actually watch it on TV yesterday because I was so busy working and doing stuff, trying to keep with everything else. I didn't even get to watch the entire launch and had to do all my studies this morning. So that's it, folks. Brand new RX 480. Entry level price is going to be $200, 2,304 of the stream processors. Like I said, 150 watts of power. Really good stuff, right? I think so. You'll also be able to obviously use these things in crossfire mode and build yourself up a bigger system depending on how many cards you wanna use. We were able to get our hands on four nanos for another build that we're doing. So it's going to be like a head to head, you know, battle between you know, the green team and the red team and the VR build. And that's another thing that they're really pushing. They're saying that this 480 can handle all the AAA game titles and it'll handle VR. 
So pretty much if you're a person out there, you're looking for that 1080, you're looking for 440p, and you want a car that's very low price, but it's still gonna be efficient, I think that the RX 480 is gonna be a really kick-ass car. It's coming to market at June 29th, so be looking for it. Um, I'm obviously gonna have cards here to test for you guys, so we'll see what the real numbers are then. Until then, I'm Elric, you've been watching Tekken Tomorrow, and we'll see ya.